let's be honest we all are waiting for china or someone to release a dirt cheap gpu with massive vram but what if someone comes up with a project which would allow us to run any model of any size on a cpu this is what this project which you can see on your screen is trying to do this project is using sglang which we already have covered a lot on the channel as you can see in this video and various others plus it uses intel's cpu let me explain what is happening this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please subscribe to the channel and like the video as it helps a lot sglang is a high performance serving framework for llms that was originally designed for gpu acceleration in this development intel's pytorch team has contributed a native cpu backend specifically optimized for intel xeon 6 processors enabling cost effective deployment of massive models like deep sea car 1 on cpu only systems this truly represents a significant breakthrough because it allows anyone to run giant mixture of expert or other models without requiring expensive gpu clusters it also has achieved around 6 to 14 times speed up in time to first token and 2 to 4 times improvement in tokens per output compared to existing cpu solutions like llama dot cpp but don't get your horses run wild now because there are a lot of requirements and roadblocks but it's a good start and i'm not trying to jinx it or hype it i'm going to give it as is so that you can make your own decision if this is feasible at this point in time or not please share your opinion in the comments so let me give you uh, a full detailed uh, rundown as what has happened and what is in the store plus i'm also going to share with you commands if you have that requirement already met so that you can install it on your cpu and report back so look at this table so this table primarily gives you the whole picture around hardware requirement the software um, the hardware requirement as you can see is pretty stringent it is intel specific it demands six generation xeon scalable processor with advanced matrix extensions or amx support amx is crucial because it provides specialized instructions for matrix operations that are fundamental to transformer model inference that enables efficient computation of attention mechanism and dense sparse feed forward network the system architecture must must support multi numa configuration for tensor parallelism that allows workloads to be distributed across multiple cpu sockets while maintaining high memory bandwidth efficiency high capacity ddr5 memory is essential due to the massive parameter counts of modern language models with the reference implementation using 1536 gp of memory now let me show you software requirements the software stack is built around a containerized linux environment using docker which simplifies deployment and ensures consistent performance across different systems and i will show you shortly the commands and that really kindles a new hope um, for me that it might still be possible for other models and other cpu architectures too the implementation requires building sglang from source rather than using pre-built packages as the cpu backend optimizations are relatively new addition to the code base and there are a lot of breaking changes at the moment the docker based approach includes all necessary dependencies and provides a controllable environment for highly optimized kernels that uses intel specific instruction sets and memory management strategies there are few performance features uh, and that rely on specific cpu config setting that maximize computational throughput and memory efficiency sub numa clustering must be enabled to ensure optimal memory locality and reduce cross socket memory access penalties which is critical for large model inference hyper threading and turbo boost are utilized to maximize core utilization 
and clock speeds during inference workloads. The system achieves remarkable memory bandwidth efficiency of 85% through carefully designed memory access patterns and cache-aware algorithms that minimize data movement and maximize utilization of the CPU memory hierarchy. Model support is still limited, but it is growing. So at the moment, as you can see, it supports a lot of quantization formats, including um, BF16, Int8, and so on. The primary focus seems to be at the moment on mixture of expert model, which represents unique challenges due to their sparse activation patterns and massive parameter counts. If you look at this graph, th these compatibility requirements are non-negotiable with AMX support being absolutely mandatory for any meaningful performance benefits. Without AMX, the system falls back to generic x86 code paths that perform significantly slower than the optimized kernels. There are various other requirements too, but I think these are the non-negotiable ones. Um, look, this primarily creates a clear hardware generation boundary where only fourth generation Xeon processors, which is Sapphire, Rapid, and Newer, can benefit from this optimization, with sixth generation providing the best results. So, if you're really looking to use it seriously, I would highly encourage you to only use sixth generation uh, processors with it. The Intel specific nature of these optimizations means they won't work on AMD or older Intel architectures. So this is platform specific, but again, with Docker and all these optimization, it is just a matter of time. Others could follow. So pretty good. I mean, um, while we wait for someone to release a very dirt cheap GPU, how about if Intel, AMD, or any Chinese or any other company in the world just enables us to use these models on CPU? Why not? And then I know that there are a lot of buts and ifs there but I'm just putting it out there. Just imagine that overnight it happens, what would be the share price of NVIDIA? Just imagine what would happen to the share market, which is at the moment is all counting on um, NVIDIA and the like. So should be fun to watch, maybe not that much. Also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Please like the video and share it as it helps a lot. And thank you for all the support.